that she just loves you for the good hearted person you are. Just loves you just because. Nah, I'm off. She loves you because you got bread. She loves you because you in shape. She loves you because you making it. But, babies, you like another video with your boy Alex. We're back again with another clip. In today's video, we're watching a clip of Bam and Kevo explaining why he got his body done. So we can waste some more time. Let's go and get straight into it. <laughs> Did you do it for the look or other people or you did it no, for yourself? My, myself. Myself. Like I'm gonna be honest. You, you, you had a lot of money. You You've always you always had a lot of money. Since 2009. So let me tell you. Um I got cheated on a lot. Really? By a lot of like guys with better bodies. Really? Yeah. Just to be honest, I, I don't though. even care. You know what I mean? Did that look that back? You said what? So if you were a chick, you obviously name is Bad Man Kevin. You yeah. got the bag. I got the bag. Whatever, whatever. I, I, it didn't make it didn't make me feel bad. But Dude, was, did them is that 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 the, your, your shorty or whoever did they have the bag too? No. What? Uh, nah. Yeah. So the guy that's attractive and in shape is always going to be the equalizer to somebody that has money. You understand what I'm saying? Typically, the guys that have money aren't in good shape, right? And then the guys that are in good shape, outstanding condition, they don't have any money. You got either a rich man that's out of shape or you got a broke guy that's in shape. These are the two equalizers to each other. If your female decides to cheat on you, it's going to be with the guy you guessed it, it's gonna be the guy that has an outstanding body. You know, look like a fucking Greek god. And then you over here with a bag full of money and you fucking fat slob. I talk about it all the time, bro. I'm a, I'm a big dude, right? We are working on it. Progress is in effect. It's always gonna be in the back of your mind is, I'm looking at who she's cheating on me with. And then you know, eventually there's gonna be a correlation. Well, first of all, if you cheat, you know, you drop that motherfucker like a bad habit. But some of these guys, they will start to see a pattern, a correlation in the types of guys that they get cheated on by these women. That is typically how it goes, right? So let's get back into the video. This is so it's, it's, it's like, it's like, um, I understand. I was just like, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I got the money. I'm rich. I got this. I got that. I don't care. Like, show loss. But at the same time, I'm just looking at like we guys. So you gonna kind of look at a person like, um, damn, this person is really in shape. Especially if that person is like a a weightlifter like type of like. Okay, when you look at a when you, I don't know what type of women you like, but when we look at a woman we like, we usually like a nice set of these and a nice. A flat stomach we don't want nothing weird yeah women are the same way if we we gotta be honest with ourselves we uh, Ooh, a lot we, of times they don't vocalize it though I, I, but i know i don't know why but they really hmm. you ever so they want to have, they, you they they room? have you ever been on the shade room yeah yeah, yeah. And, and and you will see something and then somebody's showing in a box uh, okay let's and, and, be and thirsty for safari and, man and, okay what the f and ali chopper yeah, yeah remember when this viral picture came out and all these thirsty ass girls under there. I was reading the comments. What's up with these? Okay. Now, they just posted some guy in the kitchen, like a chef, on the shade room or something. And you gotta understand, right? DJ Academics got bread. He's not in shape. People been telling, talk about, they be on this comment talking about McDonald's, this, that, and the third, you know, talking about he needs to go to the gym and all that. If you remember, if you think back, if you watched the video, I don't know if y'all saw it, but if you saw it on my channel or anybody else's channel, the Fresh Fit podcast, he was on, he was arguing with that homegirl or with the IG model. She said, but I bet you can't f me like he f's me. He, he, all he kept saying was, I got bread, I got this. It took, it cost this much to get in this building, this, that, and the third. All he was doing was throwing around his money, trying to throw around his weight, and his weight is in his money, his wallet. You understand what I'm saying? Meanwhile, homegirl doesn't care nothing about that. She hit somewhere hurt. Oh, well, you can't f me like my man do. So that tells you one of two things. He's in shape or he could pretty much outlast DJ Academics. So that kind of pissed him off, you know, because then he, he, he turned all the way to f up, right? Men, you get no leeway with females. You have to have every f***ing thing in order. I'm telling you, because if you don't have one thing in order, they are gonna f***ing point another thing out. You can be rich as f you could be Bill Gates rich. And let me tell you something. If you're not in shape, they're going to come at your ass. You could be in shape. And if you broke, they're going to call you a broke boy. Man, it, it never fails. Men get no slacks. 
They get nothing, they get no excuses to anything in life. Meanwhile, females are allowed to walk around however they want, however they please, have 10 kids, five baby daddies, you know, living off the fucking state for the rest of their life, taking this man child support, you know, divorcing one man over here for his fucking money, getting alimony and shit, having the state and her ex-husband take care of her while she's kicked back and I got penthouse mansion, whatever the fuck, and you know, just spit on her fucking toes all day. But nobody bats an eye at them. Sure they get slapped on the wrist for doing that shit destroying and deconstructing motherfuckers lives and shit. you understand what i'm saying they're allowed to do this and nobody should say anything the moment you say something oh hate speech you hate a female you dislike this you dislike that you know and then they want to label you all these types of names and shit, all these special acronyms and terms that come up for men who are standing up against females that don't treat life as a opportunity to prosper but they, they look at life as a way to cheat the system or get over on another person females like that are thriving in today's society and nobody can say anything to them everybody's supposed to sit on the sidelines and just fucking <laughs> clap them on and cheer them on all they gotta fucking do is cry in court all they gotta do is hit a and pity sob story and oh you know and now everybody's sympathetic for them they were like oh yeah it's, it's giving it's giving it's giving it's giving girls are cap bro and those are the same ones that will mess with that guy with zero dollars just for that mm. let me ask you something we i watch girls watch correct yeah it's 90% of guys that look like what on I would imagine they look built to something. Yeah, right? yeah, nice bodies, right? Yeah. Okay, so they watching a lot of this. So that's what, yeah. that, and when they playing with themselves with their little rose or their little, that's what they want, bro. We just sometimes just gotta be honest with ourselves. But a lot of people, mm. we, this is the world is so dishonest bro that they'd be like oh well you know no nah, 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 nah. but then when when she do she like a girl let me let, let me tell you about my life bro i've been with girls that act like money what didn't mean to them oh money don't mean nothing money don't mean nothing no money don't mean nothing. you got cheated with, with a better body than you or with more money than you it's just that simple that simple hypergamy hypergamy is the name of the in game bro they this is what they do they're gonna tell you oh you know you look fine you don't have to get in shape you don't have to do that you they they want you to stay where you at because they want you comfortable they don't want they don't want you in shape and they don't want you in shape because it's gonna make them work harder now he's gonna have it's coming from left right and up and down so they're gonna try to keep you in this comfort zone this comfort measure never become comfortable because what tends to happen when people get into relationships long-term relationships and when people get into marriages what happens they get out of shape if you not in shape you get fatter this is what happens i'm telling you look at any relationship most of the time if they're not sharpening each other they will get comfortable and they will get fat and complacent and that will allow her to kind of mind you into a way where you feel like oh she loves me for me i don't have to change hoping that that will in turn make you love her more and make you think that she's not doing anything wrong that she just loves you for the good hearted person you are just loves you just because now nah, i'm off she loves you because you got bread she loves you because you in shape she love you because you making it but you understand what i'm saying she 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 don't love you per se she loves what you got she loves what you come with she loves your lifestyle that's what she's in love with bro she's in love with all of that how you make her feel in that moment let's sort of say it bro it's about to be built like rich potato if you make her feel a certain type of way in that moment if you provide her a certain type of lifestyle she's gonna fucking love you in that moment as soon as everything fucking shuts down it's gonna be you by yourself in a fucking box still alone bro loneliest if all of that shit went away today she will be out of there no time pronto bro so this is the thing you you don't you don't listen to what they say because we all know the females have a tendency of you know trying to sugarcoat or not saying what they mean although they want you to say what you mean they want you to be honest with them but we all know females don't actually want you to be honest with them they just want you to tell them what they want to hear even if they know it's not true just make it sound good in the moment bro 
you get you can have a fucking world then bro and then it's just gonna keep her in this revolving cycle but females let me tell you about these sneaky little conniving creatures bro they can see one of your family members bro your dad your brother if they feel like this man is a better option or they feel like this man is superior to you she's gonna submit to him and she will never tell you and he's not gonna say anything because why would he say something to you bro men are not the issues when it comes to cheating females are because females don't know how to keep their fucking mouths closed a man can cheat and then you know he can just go on about his day females can't do that they're gonna they want more she's not gonna tell you unless she tells one of her friends and her friend is interested in you and she comes back and tell you you will not know that she could be sleeping with this mother for years dirty she could be sleeping with this mother for years and you not know a thing right up underneath your nose if you out working grinding you're never gonna know this dude got this fucking chiseled up body looking like a mother looking like zeus and shit, looking like kratos fresh out of a fucking fight just fucking digging in her shit, till she busts bro and you all making a bag trying to provide for her and the kids you know you wonder why she's so fucking chipper why she's so happy why the house clean bro you know why she get no fucking guts beat up bro yeah bro this is what happens man but listen i don't know what i'm talking about right it's the young bull got a youtube channel hoping that somebody listen to me but I do know one thing though, make sure I dye your eyes across your T's. It's your boy Alex. Catch you on the next.